Hello friends, welcome to my channel Physics Boy. Today I will discuss about general aptitude for upcoming GATE examination. You will get a series of videos on general aptitude section for upcoming GATE examination on my YouTube channel. Each of these videos contains questions according to the syllabus for general aptitude. You know general aptitude section is common to all paper. You can score 12 to 15 marks easily from this part in the gate examination. My goal is to help you to prepare for general aptitude section and score 12 to 15 marks from this section. So friends, let's begin with one marks questions. For correct answer, you will get one marks and for wrong answer, you will get minus 0.33 marks. Question number 6 He was one of my best dads and I felt his loss dash. Option A friend kinly Option B friends kin Option C friends kinner Option D friends kinly I know right now you are thinking that where is the remaining 5 questions I request you to watch my previous video where I have already discussed the remaining 5 questions in details and I have given the link of the previous video in the description of this video or you can watch that video by clicking here. In this question, friends and kinle what fair will be appropriate that is he was one of my best friends and I felt his loss Kinley. So option D is the correct answer. Question number 7 is as two speakers become increasingly agitated the debate become dash. Option 1 lukewarm, option B poetic, option C forgiving, option D hated. In this question the appropriate word will be hated that is as two speakers become increasingly agitated the debate become hated so option d is the correct answer question number eight a right angled cone with base radius 5 cm and height 12 cm as shown in the figure below is rolled on the ground keeping the point p fixed until the point q at the base of the cone as shown touches the ground again by what angle in radians unit about p does the cone travel option a 5 pi by 12 option b 5 pi by 24 option c 24 pi by 5 option d 10 pi by 13 so in this problem the radius of the cone is or which is equal to 5 cm and the height of the cone is OP which is equal to 12 cm. As it is right angle cone, so we can find the value of PR from the value of OR and OP. So value of PR will be square root of 12 square plus 5 square which is equal to square root of 169 that is RP is equal to 13 cm. So the slant height of the cone is PR which is equal to 13 centimeter. So PQ which is also the slant height so PQ equal to 13 centimeter. The distance between Q and Q prime point is equal to the circumference of the cone that is 2 phi R and R is equal to 5 so 10 phi and theta is equal to arc length that is 10 phi divided by the radius here the radius is pq which is equal to 13 centimeter so the theta is equal to q q prime by pq is equal to 10 pi by 13 so option d is the correct answer question number 9 p q and r talks about ss car collection p states that s has at least three cards Q believes that S has less than 3 cards. R indicates that to his knowledge S has at least one car. Only one of PQ and R is right. Then 
what is the number of car owned by s option a 0 option b 1 option c 3 option d cannot be determined now let us first consider the number of cars owned by s is n so according to p n greater than equal 3 according to q n less than 3 and according to r n greater than equal 1 according to the question only one of p q and r is right now if i consider n is equal to 1 so q and r both are right because r said n is greater than equal 1 and q said n less than equal 3 so both are satisfying n is equal to 1 so n is equal to 1 cannot be correct now consider if n is equal to 3 then p and r both are right because p said that n is greater than and equal 3 and r said that n greater than equal 1 so here also two person are right but in the given question only one of pqr is right so value of n cannot be 3 n is equal to 0 then only q is right because q said that the number of car owned by s that is n which is less than equal 3 and 0 is less than equal 3 and only one person of pqr is right that is q is right so n is equal to 0 is a possible solution so option a is the correct answer the last question is in a company with 100 employees 45 earned rupees 20,000 per month 25 earned 30,000 per month 20 employees earn rupees 40,000 per month 8 employees earn rupees 60,000 per month and remaining 2 employees earn rupees 150,000 per month then what is the median of the salaries option a 20,000 option b 30,000 option c 32,300 and option d 40,000 you know that position of the median is n plus 1 by tooth value where n is the number of values in the given set of data the median value corresponds to a cumulative percentage of 50 percent means 50 percent of the value are below the median and 50 percent of the values are above the median i made this table from the set of data given in the question and the total number of employee is 100 now the position of the median can be calculated from the previous formula where n is equal to 100 so if you put the value of n then 100 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 50.5 so the position of the median is inside the pay band 2 as the position of the median is 50.5 so median lies between the salary of 50th employee and 51th employee so median is equal to average of salary of 50th and 51th employees which is equal to 30,000 plus 30,000 divided by 2 is equal to 30,000 so option B is the correct answer this much for today next day I will discuss with you a new practice set for your gate examination so please stay tuned with me and subscribe my channel to get notification of new videos if you have any doubt query or any suggestion then please feel free to comment below finally if this video is helpful then please like it and share it with your friends thanks for watching and all the best for your upcoming gate examination